Hey guys, it's me, Lone Wolf, and we're continuing up that story mode. You know where I left off at that door. Well, we're back. <laughs> back to a cutscene, of course. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. Put that thing away, you'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look! It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system, a bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank, a robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. A kind of metal gear, if you will. And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> but I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. What? These bastards will live to regret this. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes, Sokolov's pathetic shagohad pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry. Don't you agree? But the fool's in charge. Joe Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. Philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about?
The Philosopher's Legacy. Haven't you heard of the Philosophers? The Colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Wolgin's father was in charge of the Philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Volgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the Great Fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they move Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohod is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. Head for the mountains. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. You passed through a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Do you remember it? Uh... This key... will open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero of the great motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. You must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer. To capitalism! Yay, I can talk again. Now, last time you see me coming into this building, I did not do it stealthy.
They run up the stairs so funny. But I forget, last time you see me coming into here, I was definitely not stealthy. I definitely came in here with a shotgun. And you see what happened after it. <laughs> Okay, let's change camos real fast. Nice and easy. It's been a while since I recorded anything on this game. Ooh, I had to sneeze real fast. Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a beating yet, at all. The boss's apprentice. I will give 
give you fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time. For you to feel the fear. Okay, first thing, we're poisoned right now. Smart thing to do, get rid of the poison. Oh yeah, that's that's poison. <laughs> oh. And we're in the good. Let's eat something. Not even a struggle. The fear. The fear. The fear I got owned. The fear. Fear. And the fear is gone. Let's look around for some ammo. That is the trap. What's this? A book. I didn't even see that. Come on, there gotta be some ammo lying around somewhere. Oh! That gave me a heart. 
That scared the crap out of me. Oh, noodles. I see that frog up there, but I'm not gonna shoot it. That hole. Yeah, there's no ammo here. Well, guess I'll get going. That boss battle went well, right? We didn't even have a struggle. So, like, the fear runs out of stamina real fast, so knocking him out could be way easier. See if I can get some ammo from these guys. Nope, a grenade. There's some bullets. Get a man, man. Let me shoot this crap. I like to have some stamina. Hey, this works. Then let me shoot one more just because I can. What is that up there? I want to make sure it's nothing good. <clears throat> oh, it's a suppressor. What you gonna drop from it, brother? What you gonna drop? More suppressors, nice. Suppressors is always good. Now before we continue this video up, I'm going to end the video off right here. Because it's getting a little bit over time. So I'll see you in the next episode. We got a lot of stuff done today beating that fair real fast. <laughs> I think that's the easiest boss it's going to be. But um, 
We'll continue this episode. And wait, what am I talking about? Episodes, man. This ain't Dragon Ball Z. I mean, uh, straight up, straight up walkthrough in the next part. So, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.